says, where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. talk about something pretty cool. Leaders. There are really great leaders in the Bible. Some you know really well, like Jesus, David, and Moses. And there are other leaders that you may not have heard of. We're going to talk about one of them today. Let's check out our Bible story, and it's going to be in the book of Ruth. There once was a woman named Ruth who lived in the land called Moab. Ruth married into the family of a woman named Naomi. But all of the men in Naomi's family died, and Ruth was left without a husband. One day, Naomi decided to go back to her homeland of Israel, and Ruth decided to go with her. On their journey, Naomi said to Ruth, Go back to your mother's home. May the Lord bless you. But Ruth was determined to go on with Naomi, and Ruth said, Don't ask me to leave you. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. 
your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Through love and kindness, Ruth would not give up on Naomi. God had a plan for Ruth and guided her along the way. The Lord provided Ruth with a job working in a field and Ruth never gave up. Ruth followed her heart and in doing so, God rewarded her faithfulness. She married a godly man and Ruth's son would carry out God's plan to bring Jesus to this earth. What a great story. You probably know what influencers are. Have you heard of that word? They are people that try to influence or tell you what you should and shouldn't like. They follow the trends. For instance, there might be a YouTube video about something that you might want to buy. And after you've watched it, you may want it more or you may not want it at all because someone has done something on the video and it has changed your opinion of that product. What do you think the difference between an influencer and a leader are? Let's think about it in terms of today's Bible story. Naomi was not an influencer. She did not tell Ruth to come with her to her hometown. In fact, she tried to influence Ruth and her sister-in-law to go back to Moab to their families. But Naomi showed that she truly cared about what was best for Ruth. And Naomi continued to love and trust God, even though bad things had happened in her life. Things like these made Ruth leave her home and follow Naomi. This is one of the things that made Naomi a leader worth following. And just like God did for Ruth, God gives us leaders that we can follow. One thing that sets a great leader apart from the rest is that they are very honest and real about their struggles in life. They don't pretend they are perfect and have no problems because we all have problems. Rather, they trust and follow God no matter what. And we can follow in their footsteps too. God gives us leaders to follow. Before we move on, will you please join me in prayer? Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for giving us leaders we can follow, leaders who are kind and real, who show us how to trust you and do the right thing. Help us to take the lead by imitating leaders who love you and care about us, instead of spending a lot of time being influenced by people who don't help us grow. We know that when we follow the right people, we are actually following you. In Jesus' most precious name, amen. Okay, friends, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember that we love you, Jesus loves you, and you are a blessing. Bye. Hi there, Chicken Nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Andy. And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Pro TV. Hey, Carl, how you doing? Well, I'm doing as good as a fox wearing yoga pants on a train in the Netherlands. So, great, doing great. Okay, awesome. So, what's that? Oh, this? You've never seen a mystery music jar before? Can't say I have. What does it do? Well, whatever feeling you're having, it plays that kind of music. It can sense what you're feeling and send a song to match it. Kind of like a song hug, but without the actual hugging. Does it have batteries? Nope. Electrical cords? Nope. Then how does it work? I told you, Andy. It's a mystery music jar. Watch. I'll have it play a happy song. And if I want a sad type of song, Or perhaps a song to get me prepared for battle. <laughs> or a song if I by chance see an extra chicken nugget at the bottom of my bag. <laughs> mm. That was... That was really good. Can I try? <laughs> Here we go. I don't like this game. You know what else it does? It also plays inspirational music. So anytime you want to give an inspirational speech, you just open this thing up. Watch. Pineapples. Aren't they crazy? They look like they're from out of this world. Who knew? 
that they're not. They're from this world. Pineapples are crazy. You know what else is crazy? Aliens. They scare me. I don't know whether or not I believe in them, but what? The Statue of Liberty. Paul Bunyan. Trees. Cut wood. And Tabasco sauce. Oh, hey, Jada. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Wait. Have you been crying? No. Yes. Yes, he has. Don't let him fool you. What are you up to, Jada? Oh, no, not a lot. Just checking in to make sure you guys read this story for this week, because we are about to go through it now. Yes, <laughs> of course we read the story. Why didn't you remind me? Oh, yeah, Um, I really love the story. The story was super cool. I love when that person did that thing. And then when Moses was, came out of nowhere, I was like, rah, and did that one super specific thing that we all remember. Yep. Moses wasn't in this story. Well, I think what Andy was trying to say is Moses loved God. And since he loved God, God is everywhere. And okay, we didn't read the story. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I can tell you all about it. Open up your Bible to Ruth chapter 1, Carl. Now, there was a woman named Naomi, but sadly, her husband had passed away. Oh, that is sad. Did she have any other family? She did. Two sons. Oh, that's good. But they died, too. <gasps> so let me get this straight. Naomi lost both of her sons and her husband. Why would you tell the story with such a sad ending, Jada? Guys... We're only at the beginning. Oh, carry on. So Naomi was obviously upset about losing her husband and two sons and wanted to move back to her hometown. Oh, by herself? Well, her sons each had a wife, so she still had her two daughters-in-law, and one of them was named Ruth. Hey, that's the name of the book. Good catch, Andy. Thanks, Carl. Now, Ruth didn't know a lot about God, but she did love her mother-in-law. And even though she could easily go back to her mother and family, for some reason, she felt she needed to stay with Naomi. Well, what did Naomi say about that? Well, she loved her daughters-in-law, but she felt they'd be better off if they went back to their own families. But Ruth, she clung to Naomi. Did the other sister-in-law go back to her family? She did, but Ruth wouldn't. It was actually really cool. Ruth looked at Naomi and told her she would follow her. Follow her? What does that mean? Like, walk behind her? Kinda. Ruth said that she would go where Naomi went and she would worship the God that Naomi did. She was committed to following Naomi for the rest of her life. Wow, that's real devotion. It really is. I wonder why she did that. Well, both of them had experienced terrible loss. And Ruth, being the younger one, looked up to Naomi as someone she trusted. A leader. So Naomi was Ruth's leader? Yeah, in a way. Ruth decided to put her trust in Naomi and it ultimately worked out because God took care of them. Ruth even found a new husband. Wow, how awesome is it that Naomi was there for Ruth? And that Ruth was there for Naomi. It's very cool. And that's why I wanted us to read this story because no matter where we are in life or what we go through, we will always have people to help us and lead us. That is some good news. I love knowing that God can give me leaders that I can follow. Amen to that. <laughs> Andy, that's your cue. Oh, yeah, uh, that's our big idea. <laughs> yes. Today's big idea is God can give me leaders I can follow. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. God, God can, can give, give me leaders, leaders I can follow. I can follow. Yeah. Right. You hear that, Andy? <laughs> God can do that. He can. <laughs> what? All right, Andy, we've learned a lot today. Yep. I think this calls for a celebration. All right, let's go. Oh, sorry. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Wow, what a great story today and what a good God we serve. Before we go, there's just one more thing that Peggy and I need to do. Everybody bring your 
forehead or your hand close to the screen for your blessing. Friends, you are a blessing. And so loved by God and your church family. We hope that you have an amazing week.